I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca and this is your Weather On Demand. We just had some light snow showers and even flurries now moving across the western portion of Upper Michigan and also the north. The disturbance is well north of us in uh, southern Canada. But wider shot here shows us that there is something else going on. A little disturbance now going to be crossing the arrowhead of Minnesota and behind it. Well, it's not Arctic air certainly, but it is much colder, especially aloft. And that's what's going to be kickstarting our next round of lake effect snow. Thus, we have advisories and warnings already initiated, especially the uh, dark blue colors here are the warnings and light blue are the advisories. They will start Thursday morning and run through Friday morning across the western portion, Friday afternoon elsewhere across the east. And additionally, four to eight inches of snow for the warning, isolated 10 inches of snow, especially for the higher elevations of Houghton County. Today we reached 28 degrees, not too shabby from our low last night of two above and pretty much in line with the averages when you consider the uh, highs and the lows of the day. By the way, we were so warm thanks to a warm front which crossed over in the afternoon when the winds became much stronger and were able to boost us in some areas in the low 30s. Here were last night's lows though, pretty, pretty cold in a lot of locales, zero in Iron Mountain, minus four over in Ironwood, and we were actually in the low teens across the northeastern part of the UP and now notice the temperatures now we're 36 degrees in Manistee, 31 in Marquette and 29 degrees in Lons but there is much colder air that is moving in our direction especially from the north and west but as I said a moment ago it's not uh, arctically cold by any stretch of imagination. 23 degrees is our temperature in Thunder Bay on the other side of the lake even across the west 35 Minneapolis 46 in Des Moines not too bad for this time of the year in December it is 39 degrees over in Cleveland and upper 40s in Indianapolis so hey we'll take some of this warm weather at least mild air and need it when save it for when we need uh, some warmer days which we have a cold spell coming at the beginning of next week for now though one low pressure system departs moves off to the east lake effect snow and uh, will certainly be triggered in a lot of locations and even for areas like Marquette we're not specifically in any advisory or warning but we will see a little bit of snow out of this mainly though the northwest wind snow belts will see much more snow and that will last for the day on Friday the lake effect snow showers will be transitioning to flurries as the ridge of high pressure will be building on in from the west before our next weather maker comes on Saturday giving everybody a good dose of snow roughly two to four inches will be uh, fall will fall throughout the day on Saturday. Accumulations through Friday. First we started in the Keweenaw Peninsula, specifically Keweenaw County. Then it shifts to the south and then goes to the north and east throughout the day on Thursday. And several locations could pick up more than a half a foot of snow. And across the east, we're looking at an additional three to five from what we've already picked up from this week. Overnight tonight, we'll see temperatures nowhere near disparity as we saw them last night. We had a 30 degree difference from uh, minus 11 out in Stambo to minus 19, or rather positive 19 out in Grand Marais. Today we're got talking about a six degree difference from the both shores to inland. The winds, they'll be gusting though between 10 to 22 miles an hour and could go, um, same thing for tomorrow, gusting at times over 30 and 35 miles per hour. High temperatures will be in the mid 20s, but dropping throughout the afternoon as colder air works its way in. Your TV six day forecast. We do have several chances of snow. We're not done with it just yet. Actually, we're just beginning for some areas. We do have a, a cool down next week, and that looks like it's going to be preceded by a potential winter storm come Monday and Tuesday. Stay tuned for that.